Hello, this week I'm taking a closer look at Unilever after it announced a new CEO on Monday. Unilever has appointed Hein Schumacher as its new CEO, taking over from Alan Jope, who's stepping down in July. Schumacher is an industry veteran, having been CEO of Royal Friesland Campina, an 11 billion euro dairy business since January of 2018. And earlier in his career, he worked for the Kraft Heinz Food Company for over a decade. Unilever's outgoing CEO, Jope, has been at the helm since January of 2019, helping to steer the business through the ups and downs of the pandemic. But since its appointment, shares in Unilever a little changed, underperforming other stocks in the sector. Jope came under heavy criticism during his time as CEO for his failed attempts to acquire GSK's consumer health business. While Unilever is in the consumer staples sector, a part of the market that's typically viewed as relatively resilient to an economic downturn, the business is facing challenges from rising costs and the risk that consumers trade down to unbranded, cheaper alternative products. Unilever has been trying to offset cost pressures by increasing prices, but this could weigh on demand amid the cost of living crisis and could also weaken relationships with retailers who are already grappling with squeezed margins. Let's take a look now at the chart of Unilever because so far the stock is down year to date, underperforming the FTSE 100, which is trading higher. Since the lows in February of 2022, the stock has been on the climb, rallying by more than 20%. However, looking longer term, you can see this descending trend line since the pre-COVID highs, with lower lows and lower highs. We're entering into a critical juncture on the chart, which potentially could see the shorter term uptrend override the longer term downtrend, with a higher high and an extension of recent gains. In terms of key levels to watch, look for resistance at the psychological round number of £50, with near-term resistance before that at the recent high of 42.55. So what do the analysts think of Unilever? Well, there are currently eight buy recommendations, eight holds and four sells on the stock, suggesting there's a mixed view. There's an average price target of £43.64, which is about 6% higher than the current share price. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back here at the same time next week with another stock to watch.